There are new CCNA books coming here in 2024. I've anticipated the usual kinds of questions I get about new editions, and I'm talking about those in this video, so listen in for that. Also, I'll talk about some deals from the publisher to save you a little money. I'll do that at the end, but a quick disclaimer, I'm not the publisher, I don't make those offers, but look to their websites to find out more. All right, let's get into those new editions. To set the context for the titles, you need to think about the history. From way back in 1998, for the first CCNA, every time Cisco revised the CCNA exam, they updated the exam number. You see a timeline at the top of this graphic, and then the exam numbers they changed the CCNA exam number to throughout the graphic left to right. But then in 2020, Cisco changed that convention. They renumbered the exam to 200-301 in 2020, and they started this blueprint numbering scheme and named that blueprint version 1.0. Here in 2024, the new blueprint, as a minor change, gets a blueprint revision number change to version 1.1, but the exam number stays the same. So why does that matter to a discussion of book products? Well, it turns out those books that we created in 2020 for the 200-301 exam based on the 1.0 blueprint, as in the title here, those were first editions. Now, we didn't even put that on the title because every time there's a new exam number, the publisher chooses to treat that as a first edition. These new editions, because you guessed it, the exam number has not changed here in 24, they're going to be second edition. So here are the covers, or at least these are mock-ups of the covers. They may change slightly, but notice the green area on the bottom left, and it says second edition. So all of these are considered second editions. Now, why do I go to all this trouble to tell you that? When you start to shop and think about buying the, quote, new editions for the version 1.1 blueprint, the book covers don't say version 1.1 blueprint. They say second edition. All right, so that's how to break the code. I'm sure somewhere on the copy of the book and at the websites it'll say for the version 1.1 blueprint, but that's what you see in the cover, this green background second edition. Now to review from one of my earlier Announcement Week videos, there were four main motivations for coming out with a new edition. The obvious one is there's a new blueprint. It's the version 1.1 blueprint. But there was also a version 1.0 interim silent update back in late 2022. So we took those updates and integrated them into the best locations throughout the book. And then I reconsidered the scope of all exam topics and then I modernized some topics. So I want to give you a little bit more detail about those. First off, of course, we updated for the blueprints. That's the bottom two rows in this reference table. But let me tell you about some of the things I just chose to do as author to improve the books. So going through the volume one column on the left, I added some troubleshooting for VLANs and VLAN trunks. So I just felt the need for it. I had had some of that in the books earlier in some past editions. I've integrated that kind of information back in. I've revised the layer three switching chapter and even added the information about how to route between VLANs on routers when you've got a router with integrated layer two switch ports in it. I reworked the entire formerly three chapter and now four chapter OSPF part. And I've reworked the formerly four chapter, now five chapter IPv6 part to modernize and expand a little bit. Over in volume two, some of the changes include the fact that I just rewrote what was formerly chapter three. That was the second of the two access control list chapters, mostly for modernization and to re-grab command output for that. And honestly, I just took the examples in there, the scenarios that led to the example output, and I redesigned them. All right, so lots of new content there. And I created a whole new chapter that I call Applied ACLs. It's how to match with ACLs lots of overhead protocols that maybe you wouldn't have thought of before. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. I just did a complete modernization of the NAT chapter and first hop redundancy protocols. Those got, uh, the exam topic got changed in that interim update back in late 2022. So this was my first chance to update the material in a cohesive manner. So 
I split that out into its own chapter. So that's a smattering of those. Those are some of the more significant changes, but the introduction to each book outlines more of that. The books still have the same kinds of features we had in the past, so I've listed those in this long bullet list, and I'm not going to read every one of these to you. However, I will point out a few things. There's a study system integrated into the books, just like before. So hopefully if you follow that, that will help you along with integrated chapter reviews and part reviews and final review built in. We have greatly improved the practice questions and expanded those. I have two videos coming next week about those details, so that's a big improvement. And we've taken some videos from a former product that's a late stage learning product, one that I recorded years ago, and we've included those videos in the CCNA official cert guide. So look for that as well. So the same key book features that you would have seen in the previous edition, you'll see in this edition. Now let's talk about the ebook versions of the same books. Same content, just in ebook format. First off, when you buy the ebook, it matters where you buy it. You get something a little different depending on where you buy the book. When you buy direct from the publisher, you buy a product they term the Premium Edition ebook plus practice tests. So, what's that about? Well, you get the book in different formats plus extra practice questions you don't get with the print book and you don't get with other retailers' ebooks. All right, so it's truly extra practice questions. So let me walk you through that. First off, the premium edition comes with PDF and EPUB. EPUB is a format you can read on your computer, you can read on your tablet, you can read with a Kindle reader or a Kindle device or a Barnes & Noble Nook reader. So you can use it on almost any device today. It's portable. And it's very easy for the publisher to integrate electronic updates to the books. You just go to the ciscopress.com website, log in, click to say update my PDF or EPUB, download it again, and there you go. You've got an updated book with any errata fixes built in. So those are some nice features, but you also get extra practice questions, and it's substantive. About 400 more for this edition. Yeah. So those are organized say in the library they're organized into quote ccna exams so you could use those for a timed ccna exam event the premium edition library has eight of those whereas the print library and other ebook libraries have four of those so you get four additional ccna exams you can use for a timed ccna practice exam oh and by the way the premium edition you're doing a practice question you want to learn more? It's got a link that opens the PDF to the section that talks about the topic in the question. So it's truly an awesome product. If I want ebooks to read and they're books from Cisco Press, I always get the premium edition rather than buy them somewhere else. That's just my personal preference. But there are other options and there are some reasons to think about those. The most obvious are Amazon and Barnes and Noble. If you buy an ebook from them, the file comes in their device native format which may display better on their devices. So if you want to watch and read the book on an Amazon Kindle device or a Barnes & Noble Nook device, you might be better off buying directly from those retailers. So that's the main motivation. Now you can buy the premium edition, download the EPUB and load it on those devices, but that takes a few extra steps. If you buy from other retailers, you don't get those extra questions, which is the point of the last few rows of that graphic. So let's talk about those deals. You see the covers on the right, and you see the currently known in stock date, as of today at least. So those are the dates at which if you order direct from the publisher, they'll have copies in the warehouse that they can put in a box and mail to you. Now this applies to anyone who buys in the U.S., the deal will be different in other parts of the world, all right? So U.S. sales on those in-stock dates. So here's the deal. If you order directly from CiscoPress.com, it's a 35% offer during the pre-sales time. That's between the August 22nd announcement and those in-stock dates. So that'll go away at some point in there. Now, it depends on your goals, whether you want to save money or go fast. If you want the books as quick as possible, order them separately. This is the one rare case where I would suggest ordering them, ordering them separately if you just really want to get your hands on them early. 
for instance, order volume one, June 2nd, they should be in stock. Maybe by June 3rd, it's in a box headed your way, all right? Likewise, June 28th for volume two. However, the price of the library, the library is just a box with both volumes in it. Price of the library, the list price is cheaper, so 35 off will be cheaper than buying them separately. So if you're trying to save money, just order the library and it'll ship somewhere around mid-July, all right? Other sales. After this pre-order discount goes away, they do sales all the time. For instance, Cisco Live is in early June. There's almost always a Cisco Live sale. Even if you don't go to Cisco Live, they'll say, hey, we've got a Cisco Live sale. By the way, if you are going to Cisco Live, I'll be there as well that first week of June. And I'm sure they'll have some kind of sale at the bookstore. And we'll have about 100 copies of Volume 1 available in the bookstore there as well. So also watch for the ebook deal of the week at ciscopress.com and every once in a while it'll be the ccna book so if you're looking for the ebooks for cheaper that's a good place to find them and finally when you want to know about these sales look for social media from cisco press i don't do a very good job of noticing all their sales and pushing it on social media so watch them directly for that kind of information so while i've got you on this whole publisher and discounts and sales discussion here are a few of the other products, and I'll just do a quick mention. The second and third rows, the CCNA simulator is not changing. It's the same one that's been selling. There's very little change to the command line interface-based exam topics, so they're leaving that the same. There's a brand new product with CCNA Labs that you do on Packet Tracer from Anthony Sequeira, so watch for that. I think it's late summer uh, this year in 2024. Um, Scott's updating his portable command guide and Alan's updating his 31 days to CCNA books. They've been around for many, many editions and they're wonderful resources. New, interestingly enough, they've been publishing a complete video course, recorded CCNA course for quite a while. And Kevin Wallace had been doing that. But this time around, Jason Gooley, who's a co-author with me on the volume two CCNA books, has stepped up and he's created a whole new course. So look for that here. Uh, just before the exam comes out. And by the way, I teach a live CCNA course at O'Reilly Online. So you can watch for that as well. If you're an O'Reilly member, join in and come to that course. So that's a few more words about what else is going on in the world with CCNA products. So to wrap up, some links to get to these products. Here is the easy to remember link. This link will be around forever. Just tag new certs on the end of ciscopress.com to get to their site about all new certification and product information. Now, if you want to do me a favor, go to either of those links. They link to the same page. You can put new certs on the end of the domain name for my blog, searchskills.com or searchskills.com slash products. Or look in the description to this show and click on those links. And those are all, quote, affiliate links, which means that I'll get an affiliate commission if you do end up buying a product. So thank you if you take the time to do that. It helps me make a few extra dollars and justify doing all these videos. So I appreciate that extra effort. Next video is coming about announcement. <clears throat> there are huge changes to the practice question databases. And I'm going to talk you through that first about what's in the retail edition of the books and their questions, and then those extra questions that come with the premium edition ebooks. So stay tuned for that. Hey, thanks for sticking with me through this product oriented video. Subscribe and click the bell to hear more videos. I'll be getting back into CCNA technology content by the week of April 29th. So watch out for that. And as always, comment and share and like to help me out. I appreciate it. Talk to you soon.